At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Manchester City up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. So they starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And providing the main goal scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. Able to skip past his man. Accurate ball and draws the near post. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But the finish is so easy. He's given far too much time and space. He doesn't even have to jump. Poor defending, you have to say. And so the action continues. Will there be a response from Tottenham now? There needs to be. Unable to keep the ball that time. City pushing forward with options available. De Bruyne. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. The clearance wasn't decisive. Can he do it? No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? And straight out of play off the keeper's boot. It will be a throw-in. Well, he successfully got past him. Has a go! Well, it looked as though it had a chance of going in. Well, he should make the keeper work there, but you sense a goal is coming. They're really pressing their opponents. Jack Grealish. Not the pass he had in mind. Song. Now with Kane. Still a chance. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop and then the reaction. Bentancourt. Well, I think everybody, including me, expected Spurs to eat. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace.
free kick just over the crossbar. Well, I have to say, I thought that was going in. But as you said, Derek, just over the crossbar, not quite coming down in time. De Bruyne. Foden. Given away by City. Not problematic for the keeper. This is looking threatening. And the cross goes in. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Foden. Very quick thinking there. Eric Dyer. That's a good looking ball. Erling Haaland! And a goal to increase the lead in this final! Will they be stopped now? Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. underway pressure exerted but he keeps the ball out of play it goes and it will be a throw in well City as the stats highlight have had most of the ball and have used it really well today particularly in the midfield areas and I expect more of the same as the game goes on well let's see if they can win the ball back and create something else Holland and unable to keep possession Grealish could play it in and space available inside surely oh he couldn't outwit the keeper And there's the delivery. Not away completely. And an attempt. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Understandably, he wanted to give it a go, but straight at the keeper. Bentancur. Holland. He'll try his luck here. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save.
Over it comes. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Foden. Takes the shot. And good work to deny the chance. De Bruyne firing it over. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Wembley Stadium. Able to skip back. So back in business with City very much the dominant side. Can they repeat that in the second 45? Breaking at pace. They need to get bodies back. Kane. Bentancourt. And back with Kane. And Hoybier with it. Shot attempted. Superb block. Gundogan. Rodri Kevin De Bruyne on a crucial intervention inside the box and he takes it on and that's sound goalkeeping Let's see about the delivery. Well, it still could be dangerous. And with that, the attack fizzles out. De Bruyne. Body on the line. Given away by City. And clears his lines. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Unable to keep the ball that time. Might really be able to trouble them here. But they dealt with the threat posed. Gundogan. And really pressing their opponents. And that was a very fine read. Bentancourt. That's a lovely ball. This looks more than decent.
Well, here's the replay, and it's a really good bit of play. Watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish. That's a top-class goal. Taylor, four goals in this match now, 3-1 it is. Into the final 20 minutes. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Plenty of support here. Son. And Kane prepared to fire. Just couldn't capitalise there. Rodri. Holland. Can they hit on the break? And he's alone in the middle by the look of things. And a goal to seal the hat-trick! A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. And then what a finish by Haaland. He just seems to have a great understanding of where to place himself in the box. That's a brilliant goal. and plentiful supply 4-1 currently gives it a go a goal an exceptional performance this four to the good now well I have to say this is a really good goal just look how well balanced he is he knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Davis. Perisic. Just the challenge that was required. No foul. Spurs advantage. Perisic. Oh, did so well to deny him. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, the goalkeeper is thankful that it wasn't a better effort than it actually was. OK. Great defending here. And a very good challenge. Dejan Kulusevski. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. 
what a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.